loving too much. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Boom, you reached some kitties touch channel. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited that you stopped by. Today is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hear what? You came to the channel for a reason. It's like you came to hear motivation, prayers, hair tips, skin tips, all my organic products. Yes, we are all about that. But today's topic is fungal acne. Yes, it is real, people. I, I personally have not suffered with fungal acne throughout my, well, from, what was it? Form one going up. I have not. Right, the only time I might have a breakout due to hormonal changes in my body is when um, PMS. Alright. So today we are going to talk about fungal acne, right? Here what? There are two types, right? There, but they are basically the same, but there are some differences, right? Right. I want you to go and do your researches on it. Um when I saw the the the, the, the words I was like, oh my God, this is taking me back to my surgical technology experience when I was doing the classes. Um, I'm going to try to pronounce it. Don't kill me. I'm not going to bite my tongue. Right? The first one is Malazia. Malazia. And Pterus porium. Follic folliculitis. Right? Okay, I'll put them up. On the videos, on the videos, so you will see what it will look like. So you can do your own research. I'm so excited that you're here. If it is you have not subscribed, please help a sister out and subscribe, like, comment. What's your take on the video? You know, you know, was it informative? Share it to your friends and family. This channel is not restricted to age, so you can share it to your 12 year old brother, to your mom who might be 40 something to do something. Share it to your dad. You know, people. I mean. Skin and hair is, you know, there's no gender, right? So today we go straight to the topic, right? Okay. First of all, it is not your everyday acne, right? Your everyday acne would be, might be, might just be one, two, or some spots, some patches, you know. Mainly under the breakout, the center breakout, here or here. Some people get it like here, right? But it is not your everyday acne. Fungal acne is not your everyday acne, people. Listen to this. This is of utmost importance, right? I don't have any close family members that suffers with this, right? So I don't have like a personal one-on-one -on -one experience with, with some other family member, but I know people who have this experience and I mean, it is horrible. This thing tend, I don't say it tend to ruin your life, but it can ruin your life, lower your self-esteem, break your confidence, and let's get tips to get rid of it, okay? That's why you're here, that's why you're here, that's why you're here, right? Okay, okay, characteristics of it. You, you have probably tried everything, right? Face creams of different sorts from different brands, and you know, it seemed just to not be working, right? And sometimes you put on those things and like it get worse. Like it get worse. Hear what? It's not a normal acne. It is fungal acne. Okay? So, as I said, it might be lumps, bumps, but again, it's fungal acne, right? Also, you may find it might be itching. Normal acne don't scratch. Normal acne do not scratch. Right? It may tend to scratch. And obviously, these 10 things, they are the vehicle for microorganisms, aka bacteria, germs. Right? Aka bacteria and germs. Right? And you tend to do this and and you're making it worse. Stop. Just, just stop. Just stop. Right? Stop. Right? Okay. First of all, I just want to say I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dermatologist. So therefore, you can just also do your search for yourself. Also, go to your dermatologist. Go to your dermatologist and get 
you know diagnose you know find out what's happening with your skin and see you know well this is what is the case and that's what is the case and this is what not happening and this is what's supposed to be happening right do your researches also fungal acne looks like a heat rash people go say oh, it's a heat rash you drink enough water <laughs> no uh, um you drink enough water um is it heat no mm right those are some of the characteristics of the fungal acne right it tends to look like a heat rash you know heat rash it be like in clusters like it just throw the whole that's it just there right those are characteristics of the fungal acne it is of important that you do your research look up know your skin right see what has been happening with you take note of your skin pay attention and do your research right i know these things could be they are horrible right and they leave your right they leave your skin horrible and if it is you don't take care of it it's either going to become worse it's going to stay longer and you know it will tend to affect your self-esteem and confidence and we are not about that we are about having you know a beautiful self-esteem we are here on this channel to build confidence, to build a self-esteem. You know, I just want to say, God is good. His mercy is enjoyed forever. You know, he said, people pressure, lack of knowledge. So be informed. Get to know your skin. Get to see the characteristics of your skin. What doesn't work and what works, right? What they also said is that the triggers for this, um, like to prevent it and what trigger it. They said, um, if it is, you have these skin types well not skin type acne right they said like okay coconut oil is a no no don't do that mm. they said no no coconut oil no oils on the whole they said no oils right they said that that tend to trigger that tend to make it worse um also humidity i guess as i probably people tend to say um it's heat rash because if this you had like a hot day the day is humid it's warm it tends to like flare up you know and the sweat also tends to flare it up right so please wash your face continue to stay blessed thank you for popping by my channel to wherever you are throughout the world i just want to say welcome you know it's your local girl shim kizzy from trinidad thank you for stopping by if this was of some information for you please share with your family and friends you know tell them you know you have a homie, you have a sister, and you have a beautiful young lady here in Trinidad who is promoting skin and hair care, and she also does hair care products. I am the CEO of Shimkizzy, such organic products. Yes, I am the CEO. Right, I have a little, I have a little team. You know, I just want to say pray for me, continue, and just stay blessed. Love you all. Bye.